Welcome to our lecture online. When a transversal crosses two parallel lines, we have two pairs of what we call consecutive interior angles. And there's a theorem about those consecutive interior angles. We call that the consecutive interior angle theorem. And it states that if a transversal crosses two parallel lines, then the consecutive interior angles are such that their angle measures add up to 180 degrees, just like supplementary angles. And so therefore we can say that the angle measure of 3 plus the angle measure of 5 add up to 180 degrees, and the angle measure of 4 plus the angle measure of 6 add up to 180 degrees as well. You can clearly see that these are two consecutive interior angles and two consecutive interior angles. They're interior because they're inside the two parallel lines and they're on the same side of the transversal, so they're consecutive angles. And that's the theory, again, the theorem that will help us understand how to calculate different angles when we're comparing various combinations of angles to one another. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some examples. And you can see how handy these theorems and postulates actually are in determining the size of angles. And that is how it's done.